Hey guys, uh, so today we're taking a look at a Bell & Howell 465A auto load projector. Um, but this video will probably be relevant for other projectors too, but, but this one specifically and in other projectors with auto load feature. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is test that all functions of the projector work before you get your hopes up and, and want to watch some old films. So uh, what I would recommend doing is going ahead and taking this lever which is your, your motor direction lever. So that controls whether the, the reel is going to go forward or you're going to reverse the reel. So you're going to go ahead and put that in the center. So forward is up, reverse is down, and center is kind of like the neutral. It won't be engaged. Uh, so then this switch down here, that controls the motor. So what, what you'll want to do is, is test that the motor works. One, the motor clicks on. Yep. Yeah. We'll test the forward. And this should engage. Now, if that doesn't engage when you press forward, go ahead and give this wheel over here uh, s some encouragement here. So if you just if you wheel it up, um, it should click in if, if your, your belts aren't worn out. And, and that's kind of a problem with these projectors. The, the belts inside that drive the, the motor and the, the reel feeds, uh, they could be old, worn out, stretched, anything like that. Um, but luckily, this, this specific projector, which I bought secondhand, all these functions work okay with a little bit of, of love, right? And actually this is, this is a, looks like an M&M uh, wrapper that keeps us together. So um, then next you're gonna wanna check that the lamp works. So in neutral, go ahead. Uh, the lamp should be projecting onto uh, whatever surface you have in front of the projector, but also you can see that the lamp is working here. So once you know those two things are working, uh, you want to go ahead and take a, an eight millimeter or super eight millimeter uh, film reel, film stock, this is a home video. Um, and go ahead and give it a try. So if it's in the box, uh, this wheel will be down, this wheel will be down also. So you want to put that in this position here, not the f up position, which is for rewind. And then you want to go ahead and push this wheel on, which will be under the cap, and bend that wheel out. <clears throat> so then you're going to take your Super 8 film stock. Now I want you to notice that this film stock has, you know, this is not the film yet. This is your leader so that you can get it fed in the projector. Um, and then you want to make sure that your projector has this black plastic cap. So that's actually what holds uh, this reel on here. So you'll take a, a notch here and you'll line it up with this notch here. Um, yep, perfect, just like that. And then what you're going to do is take the leader and feed it into the machine. Now I'll do a close-up after I run through this uh, once, just, just showing you a, in, a, in a wide view here. Um, I'll, I'll show exactly where to put the, the feed there. But just to, to kind of get an idea, We'll put the motor in forward. We'll take the film reel here, the leader, and what we're going to do is we're going to push this lever down when we're feeding it, and we want to go over this lever, so this way, and then under this wheel right here. So we're going to go under there and over this one. So when it's down like this, and like I said, I'll, I'll pull in just a little bit closer after I uh, show demonstrate this once. So we'll take the film reel here, and you want to kind of keep uh, tension on it so that it doesn't unravel here and you're going to push that lever down and you're going to feed that through here. So what we'll do is we'll turn the motor on forward position is up, push that lever down, take the film stock and feed it in through here. So now as you can see, this is kind of the problem I was talking about. This motor should be moving forward in the forward position. So what we're going to do is just give it some encouragement. Perfect, now it's starting to run. So we'll take the film stock, put that lever down and push this in. And it should start feeding. Excellent. So now it's going to come down through here, under here, by itself. And then the auto catch feature is actually this here. So watch that. And that's really neat. So once you get to your, to your film there, we're going to shut the motor off. You can shut the motor off or put that into neutral there. And you're ready to start your film. Um, so as you can see, the leader has gone through. It auto caught. And then this is the actual film uh, projection that's, that's going to project. So now uh, we let it run through in the forward position and that should feed <clears throat> and we'll turn the lamp on. So now you're watching a home video with no problem. Okay so now I'm going to do a, a cut through of, um, of the close up here and in, in the inner workings of the feeding system. Okay so here is a close up of the feeding system. Now I already fed the film a little bit uh, just because I couldn't do this one handed and I kept uh, having trouble because you do have to keep tension on the the reel up above here. Um, so this is the lever that I was talking about and that's how it's going to be. So now if your film is feeding differently than this, 
uh, you're probably doing it wrong. So you're going to go over the right wheel and under the left wheel. So now if we're in forward and we have the motor on, we should be moving here. Now if we're not, let's give it a, a little bit of encouragement and that did it. Okay, so now the film is going to go down through underneath here and then what it's actually going to do is feed automatically and that's the auto feed um, mechanism there. So with the motor off here. Now that leader, that's all what comes before the film. So now you can see the film is up and that's when you can set the motor to neutral or you can shut it up and then turn the lamp on to, to get it started here. So now if you have problems with feeding, which uh, you saw there I needed to encourage it a little bit, you can pop this off here. So there's actually a hinge uh, right here. So this whole door opens here and that holds the lens and everything else. So you can see that this film is riding along this rail here, and it's actually notched out for it to ride along. And I noticed with this, um, this specific projector, uh, it likes to jump off of this wheel over here, and then it kind of gets stuck uh, in the first stages of feeding. So what I usually do is, is take the film with my finger and just move it down a little bit, and then close it and, and run the motor again. Um, you want to make sure that you don't run it with this door open. You want to try to close it before you, you start the projector there. So now um, now you're ready to rock and roll here. Um, and, and then you would just turn the motor on, make sure it's in forward position, and then you would kind of feed your film. Now, as you can see, I just turned it on, but it's not moving. That may be the belt problem. Let's see if it... Nope, that didn't do it. And now we'll try this wheel over here. Okay, so it was a little bit gummed up there. So here's the projector, here's it running, and we can go ahead and turn the lamp on. Uh, so this right here is actually the, the movie that's on that film that I was loading there. Um, this is from Catskill Game Farm in upstate New York. Uh, I have a whole bunch of videos from you know the upstate New York area. If you would like to see those, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll make a video of them projected. Uh, but these are these are pretty neat to watch. This is actually my father and his brother. Now, what could happen? Uh, you know, you kind of do have to be pretty far for it to uh, project pretty big. Right now, it's probably like you know maybe I don't know maybe eight twenty by fourteen or something like that. Uh, now, if you see here, you may notice like this, that there's a, a duplicate of what's above and below there. You see that? Now, on the projector, which I'll show you in just a bit, it's something called a frame knob. So what you're going to do is twist that, this is counterclockwise, this is on top, until you can't see that anymore. Now, the focus knob that's on the lens, you can go ahead and turn that, and that'll focus the image. Uh, that you're projecting. So right now, that's that's pretty sharp. <laughs> okay, so this knob right here is the frame knob that I was talking about. If there's a duplicate of the image above or below, that's what you would turn to kind of uh, set it. And then this knob here, that's to focus the lens and the, the image on, on what you're projecting. Uh, this knob here, if you loosen that all the way and lift up the projector, uh, a little bit of a leg will come out so that you can change the angle of the projector on the wall and then you would tighten that leg down to keep it up there. Okay, so now we're at the, the end of a reel here. And uh, what we'll do is I'll show you how to uh, rewind it. Um, now, what will happen is it stops feeding at a certain point. So th there'll be a little bit of film left at the bottom here. And what you'll do is you'll just take the, the film that's hanging down here and just give it a little bit of a tug. Not hard, but, but enough to get it back and then it will, it'll wind itself up. Okay, so now you're ready to rewind. Let's first set the motor in neutral here, and then we'll go down to reverse. Uh, and then we'll take this reel, and we'll bring it to the top, the rewind position. Now you'll take the film stock that's out here, and let's make sure that we're in frame before I, show, before I go through this here. Yep, it looks like we are, okay. So you'll take the film stock, and you, what you wanna do is you wanna go under this one, and then through this line here, uh, this notch, and then you'll tuck the film up in there. Now, if your, your films have been sitting for a while uh, stored, you know, nicely, it'll probably want to go back into this position. So you go ahead, you feed it up top here, you go through, and then you put it right on top there. So then it sits tight. 
So now, right now, you know, you're, you're at the point. We'll give it a little bit of a start here. And then we'll go ahead and make sure the, the motor's in reverse. And then we'll go run the motor. And perfect. And, uh, you know, this is an older projector. So a lot of the things need a little bit of encouragement. So uh, what you might want to do is just, you know, give it a couple turns every once in a while if it slows down. And, and that's to be expected. Um, and then you would just let that see just like that. So we'll give it a couple turns. Give that a turn. Uh, you know, it's it's old, uh, but other than that, it, it's working pretty great. Um, and I'm actually I was told that this happened even when they were, you know, new. Probably not to this extent, but you know, it's it's a minor annoyance. It's really fun to watch these these old films. Um, and like I said, if you would like to see these films projected, I could definitely record the ones that I have because uh, they're pretty funny and neat. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, I tried to answer everything as best as I could, um, but I, I know some, some things get lost in the mix there. Uh, yeah, so now we're at the leader here, and then we'll just kind of rewind, so then we'll shut the motor off, and we'll... <laughs> I dropped you there. <laughs> all right. So, uh, yeah, we'll take this and uh, make sure it's not all, all bound up there, which this one is because we let it run a little bit too long. So here's the leader. And we'll just we'll reel it up on its own here. And then what you want to do with this is take this and go ahead and just stick it in the notch so it's ready to use. If it if it will go. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Alright, this one won't. This doesn't really bother me. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Uh, now, if you're not watching Super 8 and you're watching 8mm, you would just do the same thing uh, and just shift it to 8mm, and that's a, a framing and, and feeding difference. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day.